What's up, guys? Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another live detailing session here at the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel. Uh, we are, once again, bouncing back and forth between the channels just to keep it exciting, fun, but instead of doing a podcast today, we thought, hey, Dane's got his new car in the studio, and it's frickin' filthy. Why don't we just clean that instead? And of course, who am I to say no? So uh, without any further ado from me, let's go out to the studio and take a look. Dane, thank you so much for that kind introduction, and congratulations Thanks. on picking yourself up a new car, right? Woo! Who would have thought? Dane getting his, another car. This is his first car buying purchase ever, <laughs> and we're really proud of him. I want to thank you, Dane, uh, for allowing us <sighs> to be the, 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 yeah. the people you trust. Yeah. Hey, to, you know what? It's the first something. car I bought this year. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's, that's even better. That's so kind of good. We're, we're good. Dane, what number is this, though, realistically? Since, I, since the formation of TRC, uh, uh, TRC is this is this 14? Is this 14? Since the formation of TRC, this is probably number 17. Good God. 18. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. So Dane obviously has loved a lot of cars, and uh, I this like is, sampling the variety, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is uh, can't, can't hold a good man down. The that's new, right. The new kid on the block, right? The new young kid on the block, <laughs> and uh, we're really Ooh. excited to watch this thing. And speaking of young kids on the block, mm. I have to put this out here. Okay. It's Hadley Fanola's 13th birthday. Ah. Uh, she's having her birthday party right now. Happy and birthday. I'm here missing my daughter's birthday just to be here with you guys to watch Dane's new car. So you have to add a little happy birthday message down there for Hadley. Thank uh, you. <laughs> and I'll let her watch this afterwards. So thank you guys for letting me do that. Too fun, too fun. So uh, happy birthday, Hadley. Happy new car day for Dane uh, and happy G-Technic wash methods because it uh, looks like we're going to be doing a G-Technic wash today with some new products that we are going to be dropping into the mix, which is really exciting. So uh, I know that this is typically a main channel show, right? But uh, this is something where you can, if you want to chime in, ask questions, Dane will pop them up as needed. But what we really wanted to do today was kind of go over the new products, go over the technique in which we're going to be using, uh, and ul ultimately get the filth off of this Miata. Yeah. Because I think during the transportation, it went through it came, a snowstorm. It came up from New Mexico, yep. and it was loaded during a snowstorm. Yeah, so this thing got snowed on, then it had the snow and the filth from other cars above it <laughs> land on top of it. And fortunately, the top was up, so it didn't as it, get... As it drove down the road. In the interior. So, um, okay. So, jumping straight into this, Levi, let's quickly talk about some of the new products that Ooh, we yes. dropped today at TRC. So, you guys, if you were signed up for the newsletter, you got notified of some new toys that have landed here at the Rag Company. The USS, mm. a vast team 80s. The ultra safe sponge. Finally here and uh, available for purchase. So you're probably wondering, what makes the ultra safe sponge so different from the ultra black sponge? Yeah. Well, one's the color. Yep. But here's the biggest thing. This is softer. This is softer. Far softer than the ultra black sponge. And for those of you that go back with us for quite a while and go to the big red sponge days and you've probably been wondering and thinking exactly what are we uh, doing with a sponge that we needed to season so we developed the ultra black sponge a sponge mm -hmm. ready to go right out of the bag but here's the thing we wanted to go even softer and so that's what this sponge does so same style cuts same style shape and profile because we did like that shape so yep. much but we wanted to push the envelope go softer make it easier to use for folks, and be able to give you that greater safety net when you're doing your washes, whether you're doing Correct. rinseless washing or soap and water washing. And like we said, all the new blister packaging, you can rinse this out, throw it back in the pot, in the box, hang it on your toolbox or on your pegboard, Yep. and you've got a slot here in the back, helps dry it out. Helps dry it out, you could do that, or you just let it dry out and then put it back in its casing, right? But yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's gonna come with packaging to be able to store it in, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but to Levi's point there, when we mean softer, we mean that typically with the Ultra Black Sponge, people would kind of get this and they'd go, okay, it's a little stiff around emblems, it's a little yeah. stiff around getting in between door handles and let's just say parts of the cowling, and it would break in eventually, probably a couple weeks, couple yeah, uses. Yeah, it still, still had a bit of a break-in yeah. period. 
This, uh, we pretty much almost eliminated the break-in period. I would say after the first, second wash, this thing is gonna feel as good as it's gonna feel for months and months and months on end, right? Until you mean, until basically there's nothing left and you need to replace it. But um, this is a very safe sponge. We did a lot of testing on this and realistically, I think that this is just gonna be um, the best way for us going forward with our, our sponges. I mean, really, we only have one sponge and this is putting the best foot forward to yep. produce the best sponge for you. So uh, the ultra safe sponge, really easy. Uh, care instructions, uh, let it dry out and then store it away in this until your next use. You can use it with rinseless, you can continue to use it with soap and water and then what's um, the like we're doing today. That, you, that we came out with, it's also got its own blister packaging. So this one I'm excited about. So. I don't know how many of you have ever tried a finger wool mitt before, but in my opinion, I think it's a game-changing way of cleaning wheels. Um, I actually talked about this recently when I was visiting our friend Matt Mormon <coughs> on our Wash and Talk and talked about something that we were doing here at TRC to improve upon uh, essentially the, sim the simple wool finger mitt. And so we came out with our ultra wool mitt here, and this is so freaking cool. So what we've done is we've done this kind of gunmetal charcoal wool on the outside and then we have added our uh, Buttersoft suede border here on the inside with our TRC logos. Let me give you guys a shot of that right there. And then we've added our hang tag for the yeah. first time ever. A now a wool, wool mitt, right? Have now a has hang a hang tag. So this isn't just a wet cat sitting at the bottom of your bucket, you can now hang it up to dry. And then the biggest thing though is having this Buttersoft suede edge here actually shows you where the opening it is because uh, it's very hard on some of those other mitts out there that wet. like suction together and you're like, you're going, where, where do I open it, right? Then you have to finally pull it apart. So this is gonna be easy, slide your hand right in and this is gonna be amazing for wheel cleaning. And it's a it's, two pack. It's a two pack and that's, again, a two pack and it's going to come in this cool clamshell design again with that breather opening there on the back. So what I recommend is uh, use it, abuse it, use it with your favorite wheel cleaner, soap, however you like to clean your wheels. Then after you're done, rinse it out, hang dry it, let it dry out, and then to simply put it back in its packaging and you could put this back up on your pegboard or however you wanna do it. So I'm really excited about this. Um, some people only like using brushes and for those people, we have the new ultra wheel and body brush. Yep. But for myself personally, I I like kind of having that hands-on feeling with cleaning yeah, you wheels. You like being able to put your hand in there and get behind the wheel. And exactly. Kind of, yeah. Normally I'm using towels. Now I can finally use uh, a really nice wool finger mitt. So yeah. um, that's new as well. And then we, of course, we have the Ultra Rip and Rag XLs that launched um, a few weeks back. So those are available. Uh, and then over here, Yeah. for those oh, of you yeah. that loved the Wolf Pack, but you thought, <laughs> gosh, that's too many towels. I don't need nine right now. Mm -hmm. But maybe I just want a taste. A taste of the action. I want a sample of the wolf pack. Maybe I, I want to be a part of the wolf pack, but not really part of the wolf pack. Eh, I get what you're you saying. You're kind of a lone wolf still. For, yeah, you yeah. want to run with the wolves. Yeah, but you don't want to be in the pack. You don't want to be in the pack. Yeah, I get maybe, you. It's you know. a commitment thing, right. right? Three pack. Yeah. So you get one of each color, three towels, the 1616 wolf pack sitting right here. It's like 10 bucks or yeah, something. It's, it's like, it's, it's great. It's super affordable. Basically comes out to like three bucks a towel. And so um, you're getting an ultra plush 7030 butter soft suede edge, really cool wolf border. Honestly, one of my favorite towels that we've released yeah. in the last few years. I think I love the color the most, but I also just love the general experience and how safe it is on quick detailing, waterless wash, um, you name it. So uh, a couple new products here. We're really excited for these. So what we're going to do is kick it back to Dane here for just a brief <coughs> moment so he can go over maybe some hellos and say hi to everybody and we're gonna get ready to wash this thing of course so you know what am I doing over here well I've got among other things these guys talked about the new products which you probably saw everything from the ultra wheel woolly to the ultra safe sponge the uh, you know ultra wheel and body brush and of course if you have our email and you're subscribed to the newsletter then you already know we carry the new Rupa's Hybrid, the HLR, that, that crazy awesome battery polisher. Uh, very, very cool piece. And I know some people look at the price and go, ho, 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 wait a minute. But the thing about that is it actually comes with a full suite of supplies. So you actually get a lot for the package. And uh, yeah, everything you need to get started. So if you kind of been waiting to, you know, pull the trigger on something, why not pull the trigger on this beautiful new Bigfoot hybrid? But I will say, I've seen them moving. They appear to be moving fast. And, uh, you know, we'll get our allocations as we can. But 
If you're if you're in the running and you want one, now's the time and TRC is carrying them. So get over to the ragcompany.com and check that out. Otherwise, you heard about the Ultra Wheel and Body Brush, all that good stuff. But anyway, product-wise, we got a new products page. You can see it there. TRCMA, however, is something that only happens once a year. And that is coming up very soon, as you can see, April 1st through the 4th. And uh, what is TRCMA, you may ask? If you're not familiar with the RAG Company, perhaps you don't know. TRCMA stands for the RAG Company Media Access. And what it is is effectively a live trade show where you get to see a ton of great detailing brands present new wares, new you know techniques, cool tools. And obviously, it goes beyond just detailing. We got wrap installers here. We've got actual like vinyl, you know, PPF installer stuff. We got all kinds of things going on. But of course, then there's obviously lots of detailing related content as well. And you can see we have it broken out in a calendar to show what's going on on each day. So basically, the way it works is over on the Rag Company YouTube channel, because right now you're on our podcast channel, if you go to the main channel, you will see during April 1st through 4th all of these programs. They, they basically go in the order you see there, and uh, it will be presentations done live. So the beauty of that is you'll be able to ask the people questions, you know, the folks who are actually behind the scenes, but also the folks who work at these companies, they will be answering your questions. So it really is a unique opportunity that I don't think you really get many other places without actually going to a trade show. So this is your opportunity. I would not waste it. If you can, just put it on in the background at the very least at your workplace, on your phone, on an iPad, on the TV at work, whatever you can do. Just get it on there in the shop. But uh, yeah, tune in. Don't miss it. It's a good time. And uh, we make a point of making it fun. It's not just informative and educational. It's goofy. It's fun, too. So we really try and spice it up with our own little TRC twist. Anyway, that's enough from me about TRCMA. Let's get back out to the studio and see what the guys are doing. All right, Dane. So thank you uh, for yeah. all the information mm, there. So much. And for some of those people who are wanting to pick up the new Rupes HLR machines, so we have a few of the 21 left, as you saw there on the website. We didn't we probably didn't emphasize enough to people that we <clears> only got a certain amount in right and yeah. so this everybody isn't around the world only got a certain amount. it's not like everybody's going to have a massive stock of 100 machines right so we had a certain allotment of machines and our next order is on the way we're going to get that eventually but there is going to be massive gaps in inventory from rupes so i ultimately i think what i'm trying to say is if you've wanted one of these and you've been wanting one I don't think that waiting around is probably going to be is going to help be any more helpful because there may actually be major gaps of inventory even further along the road. So um, I'd say get them while you can now, um, while they're available. The 21 is still available for those um, who are looking for something for that's great on trucks or boats, whatever it may be. Uh, the 15, but really the 15, in my opinion, is the detailer's yeah. choice, though. Well, so another new product that we forgot to mention. Gabe just tossed me the wrap and tuck coating applicator kit is mm -hmm. also live on the site as well as the coating application kit that comes with two no soaks yep. and some pearl weaves. This though comes with the, uh, for those of you that like to go a little more old school with it, These you've are sweet. got the block, the foam block with the notches in it and it comes with a number of suede. So this uh, this came about do you actually do to customer suede or something due to customer, like customer requests. Yeah, 24 mm -hmm. by 4 suede. Um, we know that there's several people out there who enjoy uh, coding application with a suede, a suede yeah. and with an applicator. And we get that. We've tried to convert people to using pearls and using <laughs> uh, you know 5 by 7 pucks. Uh, pucks and different things like that. But Ultimately, there's still a lot of people who like this method, and that's totally yeah. fine. So what we yeah. wanted to do was use our Buttersoft suede, our signature suede, and create an awesome uh, uh, wrap and tuck kit that you guys can use for coating stuff daily. And it's all here. Two yeah. blocks, 20 suedes. No, it's uh, a, it's a killer. It's a good killer to go. deal. It's pretty rad it's that you such, get this many units, this many items right it's, there. It's, and, it's uh, an insanely good deal, too. Yeah. So whether, yeah. You're, whether you're new at coatings or... You're looking and you have a shop and you're looking to add a product, this is what you got? Yeah. 
Cool. Um, all right. So with that said, uh, we have some uh, cleaning to do. So Levi is going to start with the rinsing of this vehicle to make it pure again. And what I am going to do is while kind of he's in the background, Jimmy's going to get some shots of that. We will shift back to here. I'm going to show you uh, kind of what I'm going to do for our concoction of our pre-cleaning treatment. So yeah, before I start rinsing, yeah. Jimmy, I would like you to follow me around the vehicle. Okay. One, because there's rocks. All Please over this show car. them yeah. how dirty this really how is. How dirty this car actually is. So, yeah. Jimmy, we'll make our way around the vehicle, but I wanted you to get down right into this great cowling here. So Commenters folks, always say, why are you cleaning a clean car? This is not that. Some great little pebbles. Not even close. All over the car. And <laughs> it is everywhere on this vehicle. Uh, we were looking at it. We were like, man, how did all these rocks end up on it? How did this happen? And then the guy goes, yeah, it was a snowstorm. And as I was loading the vehicles on top of this, everything would just melt and fall. And we're like, oh, that makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> yeah. How did this, like, did they drop it off in the rocks? But it's covered in sand. I think there's, Jimmy, there's, there's rocks around the emblems. Yeah. Sitting in the little nooks and crannies. There's a rock sitting right here by its headlight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let this be a lesson for anybody who, if they bought a Get car somewhere else and they the need it shipped, they're trying to decide those. between open transport or closed transport. Closed transport costs about two to three times as much as open transport, but open transport can result in this. Yeah, so all in all, the car arrived safely, but covered in rocks. So what we're gonna do is try and get in with the water, blast out, get it, remove as much of the gravel and uh, rocks and dirt off the vehicle before we do anything, so. I'm gonna laugh if the pressure washer literally just cleans the whole thing and you don't need anything else. Well, we did joke about that. We did joke that what if they did something to this car from the dealership previous? Yeah, we have no idea what kind of protection is on there, if any. All I know is that the car was clean when it was loaded up by the transporter. This guy took pictures when he picked it up and it looked Mostly clean. Oh, and uh, Levi, I'll go ahead and throw in all those birthday wishes I saw. Oh, yeah, that'd be many. great. Jimmy, there's gravel in the lug nuts. <laughs> Neil White saying happy birthday. All right. Kevin Miser saying happy birthday. Nice. MGL Detailing and Coding saying awesome choice. Let's look at those. All right, Brian, happy birthday. David Boyce, happy birthday, Hadley. And let's see, Super Auto with another happy birthday. And a happy new car first wash day. There you go. Well, Levi, how's the progress looking? Well, it's very sandy, Dane. <laughs> I mean, it was New Mexico, so... Some of these spots are... Uh, having a little harder time. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dan Pfeiffer. Wow, look at that water beating flap emoji. <laughs> Very flat, we know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joey Balinski saying hello, friends. Huh. John Sabatier saying happy birthday from South Florida. All right, so I think uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to take yeah. the camera over for a minute here on our, on our main cam. And 
Uh, I think we're going to mix up some chemicals here. So for this, we're going to use a combination of citrus foam and the citrus all-purpose cleaner from G-Technic to help break down a lot of this surface grime because uh, we don't know when the last time this was really kind of deep clean and washed and ultimately this thing needs to be polished and um, it's going to go in for PPF here I think on Monday is what Dane said. So uh, we want to get it cleaned up and we want to get it deconned. So uh, I'm going to jump over to Jimmy and we're going to walk over the table here and I'm going to show you my mix. Okay, so we have our PF22 here with some water already in it and I have both the citrus foam and citrus all-purpose cleaner. So for this, I'll typically throw in about like 100 mils of the citrus all-purpose cleaner, or citrus foam, I'm sorry, uh, but I'm probably gonna do like 100 mils of the citrus foam and close to about 75 mils of the citrus all-purpose cleaner. So I have citrus foam with me right here. I'm gonna grab my uh, PF22 and I'm gonna kinda take an eyeball of this. I'm about 700, actually about 800 mils on there. I'm gonna go ahead, get myself to about a little bit more. And I'm gonna call it good there with my citrus foam. And then I'm going to top it off with my citrus all-purpose cleaner. And I still have some room there for air, but just a splash of this and we are we are good that's exactly where i want to be so we'll throw this back on over the top and this is going to be our concoction we are going to knock out the wheels first though just because we don't want to be stepping in a in a swamp once we get everything soaked we learned uh after the last wash that it got a little wet inside there so we're going to do things a little bit different so that's these two chemicals, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix up some G-Wash in the other one. Oh, I got this cat backwards. This goes over here. So we're gonna mix up some G-Wash into the other PF22. And the G-Wash is gonna be more of our pH balance soap uh, that we're gonna use to provide lubrication to our mitts. So G-Wash, PF22. And for G wash, I I always feel like I feel like 200 mils is like the sweet spot for like really good soap, but sometimes it takes forever to rinse off. So I'm probably gonna meet it somewhere right in the middle. I'm looking at about 650 right now, so I'm going to take it up to about another another 100 or so, 150. I'm gonna call it good there. This stupid thing is getting in the way. There we go. I like Mike G's style. What's up, everyone? Listening to this on the side while in the office working. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm crazy today. Levi, how's everything going with the rinsing? So, can you unlock the car? Because there's rocks stuck in that door on the other side. Oh, no. Ask and you shall... Oh, somebody already unlocked it. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. So, I just noticed there was a couple pebbles jammed in. Did you? Oh, so no. Got, got those out of there. They were just stuck in this okay. part of this rubber jam here. So, I'm going to hit that. Okay. Try and knock out some of them. You know what? This thing already looks a ton better, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah that looks pretty take good. Much, jeez, looks pretty good. It is uh, very sandy, though. That's the crazy thing, is how many rocks came down from the car above it. That thing must have just been loaded up. Yeah. Just trying to get all the little hidey holes for those rocks. <laughs> All right, uh, Dane, do you want the sticker that's on the back? Sorry, guys, my voice is gone. No, I definitely want that gone. I'm actually going to debadge the car it's eventually. It's got a bulldog on it. <laughs> I mean, well, it's cool. Wanna, the bulldog's cool, get. but I don't, I don't want to advertise a dealership for free. <laughs> All right. Are you going to pressure wash it off, Levi? Well, I'm going to see if I can at least get it lifted beforehand, but oh, I man. guess not. Okay. <laughs> no 
No problem, Levi. Well, thank you for oh, getting everything rinsed off. So uh, what we're going to do from here is, I know I mixed up the soaps, and I know you guys want to see this uh, beautiful little roadster get all, you know, get all sudsed up and frothy and whatnot, but uh, we're probably going to knock out the wheels first because that's just what's going to make sense yeah. uh, with, with the mat so we don't get uh, uh, soaking wet. So uh, for this, we have our iron and fault remover. So we're going to use this on the wheels because the rotors did look like they kind of needed a little bit of a little bit, a little bit of something on there and then for the agitation we are going to use the citrus all-purpose cleaner uh, for the tire so the combination of these two are going to give us a really clean wheel um, and so me and Levi are going to split this and you guys are going to see the new ultra wool mitt in action which is pretty Ooh. exciting so um, for this I'm going to go ahead and start spraying the iron fault remover on the face of the wheel Levi's going to follow up with this on the tire so uh, if you guys want to walk along, over yeah. walk over to me here I'm going to uh, get you right here ah, rear wheel first okay not bad and it really it looks pretty good you know in my opinion um, but it needs something so we're gonna go ahead turn our triggers on pump this oh thank you and spray that and then we are going to move over to the front here Levi's gonna knock out the rear and uh, knock out the front. Get into the barrels. Sweet. I'm also going to spray the lower of the car. Okay. With some of this, just to help start breaking it up. Thank you. Yeah, those things definitely collected a lot. They kind of create a shelf. Oh yeah. I have a lot of comments and stuff here, guys, but I didn't want to derail from what you guys were doing, so I was trying to avoid throwing it all in there. Yeah, I know. You're good. <coughs> but uh, if you guys are open, I can start throwing some out there. Yeah. So I'm going to knock a walk over this wheel here. I'm going to kind of focus on this rear one, but feel free, Dane, to shoot over some comments. Yeah. I'm just going to start here on this wheel cleaning on the rear. i got a couple different tools here I'm going to utilize. Get that sprayed down. I'm going to get my wheel mitt here. LHF detailing, thank you. Such a big day. Levi's going through puberty and Dane's first wash. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. So um, we're going to get into yeah. some of these barrels if we can get that on there. There we go. These, are, these, these barrels are tight, Dane. These barrels are really tight. I mean, they're 17-inch wheels, so that's about as big as it gets for a Miata. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, how's the uh, brush doing clearance-wise? Um, it's doing pr it's doing pretty good. Would I you mean, rather be using your ultra wheel brush? Yes, if I'm honest with you, yes, okay. I'd rather be using this brush. This brush, I think, is going to do a little bit of a better job. Because look at this, minus that. I was going to say that, that sound. <laughs> there we go. I mean, on the plus side, it's rubberized, so. Yep, it is rubber. Yeah, I'm just Despite barely. Despite the sound, it's totally fine. I'm just barely, barely, barely touching the top of that there with the rubberization, so we are okay. So get in there. I'm gonna grab my new ultra wool mitt. Oh yeah, a couple let's see sprays, that in and then start. Oh, this is so much better, dude. Oh, that this that is, actually looks like it's going super well. Oh yeah, this is. This is going freakishly fast here. So when you have a lot of spokes, the wheel mid is it. Oh, this is it, dude. Yeah. This that, is that looks like easy this choice. This is 100% it. Joey says, I'm amazed that Dane can continue to buy cars and somehow still talk these guys into cleaning them over and over. You know what? It's been a while, though, since I had you guys detail any of my cars. So I've held off for a long time. Yeah. Mostly because you guys said no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think the last uh, last time I did a car for Dane was mm -hmm. the seats on the Flex. Yeah, yeah. it was the Flex interior. That was yep. back in the elephant leather. Yeah, all that. Yep. So that was a while ago. It was. So yeah, you guys could joke all you want, but it has been a while. So yeah. just say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Levi. Yes. If you do me a, a kind favor here. <coughs> There's a tire brush yonder that way. Okay. If you want to grab a tire brush and knock out with that citrus, uh, citrus all-purpose cleaner, I'm going to get Jimmy to join me here on this front wheel 
for a little bit of cleaning. So we're going to come back over here, spray that down, a couple more sprays now that's been dwelling for a minute. Then I'm going to come in through Ultra Wheel and Body, kind of get in between those lugs with that tip, which does a lot of work there. A lot of the cracks, you could slide this through. What it is, Dane, is your rotor's not big, but mm -hmm. what is big is your dust shield your heart, there on the back. Your heart. Thing. Okay, I was gonna say the way the way it kind of clanked and it sounded kind of tinny. I yeah, figured it had to be some kind of shield. It's just or something. yeah, it's so just like a rotor doesn't sound like that. Just the dust shield. So then we get this on sense. here. Oh yeah, dude, this thing. Ooh, look at that chalky milk, dude. This ultra, <laughs> this this new, this wool mitt. Yeah, you liking it? I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's kind of like sticking your hand in a wet cat, so it's kind of weird, that is right? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do a lot of that, do you? It just, it is weird if you've never used one before, but once you start using it and you start practicing, you'll be like, oh, I'm never going back. Dude, this is, this is so much faster. Yeah. Duly noted. All right, Jimmy, you want to see this chocolate milk? Oh, some awesome dealer installed tire shine left over, I imagine. Probably. Look at that, making quick work of it. Yep, that's chalky, all right. And Alex Dewar throwing out a big happy birthday, Hadley. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, guys. I appreciate Grab that. Up. I know Sorry. she does as well. She's a Pojo's right now. <laughs> They went, her birthday plans with her friends was uh, Pojo's and uh, Culver's for lunch. Oh, they're not so. in school, spring break? Yeah, it's spring break. So they, uh, they went, when I asked my wife how they were doing, she said we're $200 deep into Pojo's. That's how you know it's good. And David a, Cervantes ooh. here saying, is the wool mitt Anthony hand sized or average person uh, uh, size? Anthony hand sized. No, it's, 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 it's <laughs> meant to appeal the masses. I do have to spread my fingers a little bit. It's a, it's a four finger mitt. I have to yeah, spread my fingers finger a mitt. little bit to make sure the fitment is correct. But um, this is gonna fit pretty much everybody's hands. Um, it's not designed to fit over your whole hand. Correct. It, it's it's a it's a half. It's a it's a half mitt, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're keeping it on due to the wetness and the weight of it. And there's also the I guess I essentially should say the uh, the wool backing, right? Yeah. Some people might be weirded out when you stick your hand at this for the first time because right. you might yeah. go, "Ooh, that feels kind of like slick or slimy." It's not slimy. What that is is it is the is simply the surface tension of which the water is on those slightly very fine fibers to make it feel like. It makes it feel like it's slimy, but it's not actually slimy. Yeah. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. So don't be freaked out the first time you put your hand in this and think, oh, I'm sticking <laughs> my hand inside of a cat, and this feels <laughs> kind of weird. No matter how many times you say it, it's not going to get easier. Yeah, it doesn't get, yeah. it doesn't get better. <laughs> Uh, here's a question for you guys. I'm actually going to throw out product questions here because people okay. are wondering, you know, Appreciate product availability that. stuff. Is the USS coming to Amazon? Oh, yeah, of yes. course. Yes. No doubt. And uh, this one, you could probably answer later, but I'll throw it up now. Thoughts on G-Technic C2 and C2 V3. What's the difference? Well, C2 is C2 just the V3 product, the, and then the V product. is the version. Yeah. yeah, correct. So, you know, each, each version gets a new higher number as it goes. It's a revision. Yeah. But uh, say, for example, what's the difference between the one people were using a couple years ago and the one now? Well, they, I think they mean... Unless you know, he they, means C1. They might be meaning C2. C1. C2v3 has been out for quite a few years now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're going on yeah, like, we're going like four, four years on V3, almost five years on V3. <laughs> Neil White, hand inside of a cat? All righty. Yoshi. It is a four-finger mitt for Anthony, but a three-finger mitt for the rest of us. All right. <laughs> right. There you go. Good uh, description. Yeah. And then, Kirby, Levi, pass along a big happy birthday to Hadley this evening. I will. Thank Very you, Kirby. Nice. And uh, to answer Kirby's other question, Dane, 
Does the car roof retract? Yes. RF, which is the model. It's Mazda Miata RF. That's retractable fastback. So basically, it does like a target top thing where the middle section of the roof from about where the windshield... Don't rinse it too much, Levi. we got to film this thing. <laughs> I know. I'm just rinsing okay, it. Okay, okay. And then it folds back and it takes the back window with it. So it's like mostly open when it's all opened up. It's a little less than a full convertible roadster like a regular Miata because it's still got those uprights, those uh, flying butt pistols on the sides of the rear. But I think they look really cool. So that's one of the reasons I wanted this car is aesthetically I just like the way it looks. Yeah. Well, Dane, I think you're going to be very excited to see oh, what this I'm looks like excited. because right now there's already a massive improvement and uh, we haven't even technically started washing it yet. Not really. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. I'm, I'm pumped on this. And yeah, to answer Anton's comment saying it's a hard top option, yes, it, it effectively replaces the previous model's retractable hard top. This is also a retractable hard top, but instead of coming all the way down, it leaves up those back kind of sail panels as flying buttresses. So, style-wise, I prefer this. Um, let's see. Oh, oh no, the Meridian Meower. Anthony, should I be concerned about coming back to your residence? Absolutely. Be, be afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. Uh... All right, let me go right. into some of my real questions. We're going to be I'm rinsing this like here. three more times, oh, I Levi. Oh, so. get that. Get that uh, <laughs> you want to make it pure? M2 off before uh, okay. before it dried. M2? Or, or multi-purpose cleaner, whatever. It's a citrus all purpose cleaner. No, the one we used before. Yes, correct. correct. Yeah. Okay. Since you guys are using a pressure washer right now, Criss Cross wants to know, money no object, what's your favorite pressure washer? Because theirs unfortunately busted this weekend. Um, honestly, dude, so I was actually thinking about this the other day. We haven't serviced that this Krenzla. It's we have not kept touched going. this Krenzla. We have not done anything to it. We've had it actually... Four years? We've had the pump ran overnight for years sometimes because yeah, we, we, we forget it's four years of duty we haven't done anything to it and that thing is this thing still has yeah it works fine works perfectly so i'd probably say this one i mean yeah. um money is no object I d and i had the space land a jet i'd get my land, land a hawk. hawk yeah jet power washer oh my gosh that'd be amazing <laughs> yeah put a smokestack on it so that it all exhausts all the out. diesel yeah you can yeah that'd be pretty sweet yeah i would love that but for a budget, I'm pretty yeah. happy with my uh, new Karcher 1800 yeah. Cube. so <clears throat> pretty sweet little machine. I was thinking better than that, man, for yeah. the price. So, um, All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the filming process. Jimmy, you ready? You ready to rock and roll? You ready to do this? Yeah, Let's get this party it. started. Here we go. Bam. Lay on this mix Woo! of the citrus foam and citrus ATC. Let's just start working in all the cracks and crevices. Here we go. This thing is actually sticking pretty good. Yeah. Citrus foam sticks really good. I mean, in my opinion, I think it sticks really well, but I think paired with a, just, a, just a splash of that all-purpose cleaner in there takes it to the next level. Oh yeah, that just, that's creating some pretty de decent foam. Decent foam. Well, Leo, what is it like? It's a uh, uh, home is for the monies. No, and uh, foam is for the honeys. Oh yes. O and R for the money. Gotcha. Okay, but in today's situation, today's it's, situation, foam is for the honey. Foam is for the honey. Danes are honey. Dane, yeah, well, or Danes Thanks. new honey. Danes. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Dane. I don't know. Didn't know how else to word that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead. I like to think of us as the beekeepers. And Dane is our honey. Oh, yeah. My goal is to make this car pure again. Mm -hmm. This thing, it's been, it's been touched by other cars on a road trip. It's been hit with rocks. It's been dripped on, right? A lot, a lot of that. drippings. A lot of drippings, right? This is kind of like when we talk about Dane's Rotisserie Chicken mm -hmm. Maker, right? Yeah. This is like all the drippings from that landed yeah. on this car. Delicious drippings. Dane, is that visual enough for you? I'd say that's right up there. Perfect. Ooh. 
All right, we're gonna let that do its work here for just a quick second, and then uh, we're gonna go through and rinse everything off. We are doing it the uh, the two-step foam way today. Yeah. I don't know why we're doing this lately. We don't really, maybe because we visited Matt and he was doing it and we we're like, maybe we'll be cool like him. But realistically, we just. That's not normal, or, it's not our normal method. This is not our normal method. No. We're just doing it to have fun. And it's Dane's car. We wanna, we wanna get it all foamed up. <clears throat> Hey, thanks. Okay. What do you think? Another minute or two? Yeah, let's let it sit for a little bit. Dane, okay. you got some more questions? Yeah, of course. I've actually got a bunch here. They're mostly commentary, but, you know, okay. I didn't want to throw you guys off, so I waited to bring them up. But uh, here we go. Let's see. Dino. All right. Popping up saying, hello, hello. What's up, boys and girls? Can't wait to see again other people washing Dane's car. Have fun, guys. Oh, you're very you. welcome, Dino. Neil saying, is this Dane's new Miata? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, NGL, can't wait to see the products used. Hope everyone is having a great day. I Thank hope you. you're having a great day, NGL. Sharp looking car, Dane. Hey, you have one. So, of course, you know what's going to be fun? <laughs> I was just saying this. Brett and Dane doing some oh, Loman do, loops. Do, do they're going to do some Togi some, runs, some dude. Saturday yeah. morning Loman loops. They're going to be going up there. That's right? a good time. A couple Miata bros. I love it. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, we got Alex Dewar here. I love live washing of forever cars. Great pickup, Dane. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Great yep. choice, Dane. Enjoy it, man, says Brian. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We got Dan Pfeiffer. How many cars does Dane own? I only own two, and then Liz has one, which I kind of bought <laughs> oh, also. You, so yeah. really, there's three. So that's I think that's the it. real question. I've just rotated through many. The real question people are asking is how many Winco money orders did this cost? Yeah, this costs like several <laughs> Winco money orders. What's, that, what's the exchange rate? On that? I have no idea. I don't know what the max I don't know. is that you can get at Winco in a money I, order. I don't know. Awesome car, Dane says Neil. Thank you. Brian, car number 182 and a great one. Yeah, sure. Let's Woo! go with that. Good job. Kevin Miser, Dane, congrats on the Miata. Congrats to TRC. I'm not going to say TRG. On the ultra safe sponge launch today. Thank Kevin's you. Kevin's Kevin. excited Thank about this. We've the got a, we've got one in the bucket. On the bucket. Yeah, we're about, we're to, using it. about, it's, it's, about it's, to put it to use. To I trusted enough to go on my car that scratches very easily. So here we go. <laughs> well, why you can't see it anymore. Yeah. Dane, let's be honest. You're going to be taking this through a tunnel wash. I am going to resist that urge as much as possible, but you I cannot I, make I any promises. Wait. You said that with a Jaguar. So look at, you know. I'm sorry, did you just pronounce that like a heathen? Jaguar. I can't, I can't wait Jaguar. to see Dave's washer, pressure washer setup. <laughs> Jaguar. In the new garage. For these All uh, right. weekend washers. <laughs> Anna Longfield. I bet Matt Mormon is excited for the wheel mill. Well, um, so. He has. We actually need to send him one. To be honest, he needs to test it and see yeah. if he likes it. Uh, Mark, congratulations on the new ride, Dane. It looks very nice, and I know it's what you wanted. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Super Auto, thank you for not only making a safer sponge, but making one that is much more affordable. Thanks, Al. That was the biggest uh, point and the reason for the USS was to, uh, one, make it a little more affordable because of the fact that this is a worldwide sponge and uh, all of our brand partners, uh, so Rag Company uh, EU, Rag Company UK, Rag Company uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, that's been their biggest kind of complaint is taxes and duties and taxes and duties and taxes and duties and, and we wanted to try and as certain prices have kind of gone up for us it was how do we make a product that we can bring back down in price make it safer make it better and make it easier for people to own and utilize especially as new people come into the industry every day pretty much for so real. how do we make it so there's no mistakes no problems no issues all right Yep. G-Wash. Let's do it. Coming up. Now, Al says, let's get this channel to 3K subscribers. Let's do it, Woo! man. 
one twenty four. We can do it. Yeah. It's not yeah. setting a particularly high bar. Very it's high. the podcast would, channel. It's a small. We would audience. like it to like build let's do it. Ten k, but I mean, we you guys are a very niche <laughs> audience of people that we love. So uh, you're people who know. You know, it's an if you know, you know, and these people know. That's right. That's right. Let's let's do this. Okay. Ooh. Look at my eye contact. <laughs> That's good. You're looking right at it. I don't even know what I'm filming right now. Did you pour any in here? Woo! Yeah, I think you missed. Did I? Oh, okay. There we go. Let that guy soak in there a little bit. Just out for his little, uh, little maiden voyage. The other reason we called it the USS, obviously ultra safe fun. But come on, it looks like a little boat and it's destroyer gray. So why not? Sitting in the bucket, sailing the uh, seven seas of the Yeti bucket. Or the seven types of soap. Anthony, oh, yeah. you'll appreciate this. Joey Belinsky. Anthony giving off the Paul Walker vibes with the no look filming. I like that. Nice. Thank you. That was very good. <laughs> so we've got an ultra mitt, cyclone mitt in there. We've got the uh, USS. And then I do believe we have an ultra black sponge in there as well. Yep, and we do. Just for fun. Just because we like to party. Oh, we do. So we'll get, the, uh, get this USS. All suds up and loaded up. Oh, so same it. thing. You don't need it totally. I show Jimmy dripping, that. You know, you don't need to totally get it dripping. But it's got enough in Gee, here that I can go suds. to the top of the car. Oh yeah. And wash. I'm sure you see it's not not dripping that much. It's pretty good. There we go. Washing. This is the first live Look demo of this of this product. Yeah, nobody's Levi. actually seen a live demo of this sponge yet. So yeah. this is this is it. Uh, Anton, hey, 4 a.m. here in the Philippines, so I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that was you, a Anton. No look wipe is what that was. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> he's Jimmy, he's into it now. He's trying to do come more. Come on in close and look at this. So as dirty as that roof is, yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Yep. Ah, Kevin says TRG equals the rag guys, aka you guys Dane, like Levi, Dane, Anthony, Anthony and J Money. This? I'm enjoying, you enjoying this, man. watching us uh, wash this your is car a, for you? a little party. <laughs> Just get in there. Oh man. Yep, there we go. We've got. Ooh. So this, Yoshi so says we reach. should have called in the Queen of Foam for this one. They're talking about Morgan. Oh yeah, I remember I mean, her. It's a car that's about. Could have, but we probably the right size had to for say that height, it was your so. car. Yeah, yeah. We'd be like, hey, we need you to help us wash the car. She's like, okay. But if we said, hey, this is Dane's new car, she'd be like, yeah, okay, I got work. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, not, not interested here. anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh no, Yoshi says, Dane bought not only the ultimate Miata, but it actually considered a Honda Civic because it has the correct drive wheels. No. <laughs> Sorry, front wheel drive's not my bag, but I can still get great fuel economy with this, so it's a happy yeah. compromise, you know. We can't all be perfect, right? Yeah, Anthony, just, you know, do the modeling thing there, that's great. <laughs> Oh, DS. Well, you guys <laughs> don't know as I'm practicing for my camera skills for Tirasima. Oh, nice. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get the warm up for that. So that's feeling very natural. Don't know if I'm getting everything, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I like the, the eye contact when I can't see what your hands are doing. That really doesn't make it better. That is getting <laughs> comfortably close. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy what what we do for you guys. Yep. <laughs> uh, cool car, Dave. You've come a long way since the sport track with the toilet in the back. I've had cars before then. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Here's a good question. Adrian, so did Rippin' Regs displace 245s, or are they still, you know, really having a place in the lineup? Wondering if I should order more 245s or switch to the Rippin' Reg. 
So the rip and rag only comes in a 12 by 12 where the 245 is still available in a 16 by 16 and available in a bunch of colors where the rip and rag is only in the uh, gray. Yep, true. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend that <laughs> I would recommend that you get uh, if you're using and enjoying uh, the uh, 245s, that you continue to get a 245. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a disposable towel <laughs> and you want something for household use, for shop use, for any of that stuff, <laughs> then I would recommend get using the, uh, the Ultra <laughs> Rip and Rag. But the 16 by 16 Ultra XL is a pearl weave. So completely different towel, 70-30 blend, um, and uh, really just a beautiful high-end towel. Yeah, I agree. Not to say that the standard <coughs> ribbon rag isn't. This is just uh, uh, that next level up. You call this work? <laughs> you guys are having too much fun. I'm just jealous, Owen from Atlanta. Thank we you, are. Owen. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, Owen. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no, no, Alex, don't <laughs> jinx me. I, I can't be having that. Alex says, if this car gets backed into in a parking lot, it'll still be smiling. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Why'd yeah, you have right? to speak that into the ether? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh, Nate. Let's get Nate up here. Nate there says, thank you for the Ultra Wheel Mitt and Ultra Safe Sponge. Just purchased both as well as Ultra Ribbon Regs. Can't wait. Excellent, Excellent choices. Perfect. Yeah. Those are great. And the ultra rip and rags are fantastic. Look at that. Here's one right here. Use it to drop oh, no. my hands. Anton calling Anthony out. Ant Anthony getting so excited being compared to the late Paul Walker. <laughs> he just wants to keep going. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's the dream. I mean, well, some areas, right? <laughs> Yoshi, getting QVC vibes. That happens every time we do this. For only four payments of $3.99, you can get this wonderful ultra, ultra, ultra safe sponge. That's right. Call in now and get the wonderful deal easy. of a lifetime. That's why you do it. Sign up for Klarna, four easy payments annually. <laughs> get you set up. I mean, that's how it's done. All right, you want me to rinse? No, I'm not done yet. Okay, what do you got <clears throat> left? Um, just a few more things. It's not like there's a lot of car to keep going back A couple back more to, scenes. So. A few more things. These are, these are for posterity. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so the crew wanted me to focus more on looking at the camera during these live shows. So now so you're this going is all me Fabio with it. Practicing and getting good for you guys. Well, the viewership numbers <laughs> have actually increased, so whatever you're doing, keep doing it. <laughs> Why are you rocking? <laughs> what? I don't really know. <laughs> Just a... <laughs> oh no. Okay, Did Spencer Mason. Here? Spencer, <laughs> you know, our friendly tractor detailer. Will the lamb wheel mitt work well for tractor wheels? Here's the size for reference. 1280 or 50. Yes, 50 tall ribs. Oh boy. All right. So uh that's fun. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that's a fun. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, that was a lot of work. I don't know if I actually cleaned this side of the car, but um, it looks like it did something. So we're off to a good start. I do like the size of this. I, I don't mind washing a car of this size. It actually reminds me of my, uh, can't say it was my Miata, but the Miata that I was in possession of for like a few months. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy knows. Yeah, but it reminds it kind of reminds me of that that was also a white Miata Dane if you remember that. Yeah, it uh, it didn't seem to last long after you sold it though. Unfortunately. What's, fu what's funny is I tried to actually sell that Miata to Dane, and yeah. he wasn't he wasn't interested. <laughs> I so. I was already set at the time. I, I couldn't I couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, couldn't make that happen. So, um, but we're really excited though. This thing's pretty sweet. Uh, we're gonna after we we finish up with this, we are gonna be God get sprayed in the face. We're gonna. Rinse everything down. We are gonna move the car here um, underneath the hex lights and then we are going to dry it with 1500s and we are going to be using, I believe, 
quick detailers are drying aid because this is going in for PPF. Um, yeah, so we have C2V3, but C2V3, I don't know, Dane, if you want that on there since it's going for PPF, so we'll probably just use the quick detailer. That's okay. Totally fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to C2V3. I'll just let Steve know before he gets to work. Well, I know, but I mean... C2V3 is pretty strong. It's pretty strong. We're probably going to quick detail it, Dane. Okay. And then after you get your PPF done, yeah. then we can go through and coat the whole car. Because uh, so I don't you, want it unprotected any longer than it has. Yeah, because when you take it through those tunnel washes, you know, <laughs> we yeah. definitely want to make sure it's got something than nothing. Uh, let's see. We've got quite a few here. Oh, Joey with a good point, though. We cleaning under that hood today or what? Well, that's the fun part, I'll say, Joey. Under hood, it's not bad. And interior, totally clean. Interior is clean. The trunk the is great. like new. The interior is like new. Under hood, I think, was only a little bit dirty. Not too bad. So, Although, a little. Dane, tell us the story about the car. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, I was on a big search looking specifically for Miata RS. I wanted to get an RS because I like the way they look. And I still wanted to have an open top experience, but I didn't need to have the full Roadster experience. So yeah. for me, aesthetics did kind of play a role because I love the Jags, but obviously Jags have high maintenance costs and stuff eventually down the road. I wasn't there yet, fortunately, but they do like to drink fuel. And the Miata gives me a ton of fun while still being under the speed limit, but I get a six-speed manual, which I couldn't get in the Jags. And yes, I traded a fire-breathing V8 supercharged engine for a four-cylinder. But now, now I'm really, I'm really gonna enjoy this. I, I don't doubt it because those Recaro seats in there—they're gonna hug you. Even my large size actually fits in them. I'm very impressed. Is this like the uh, American Sign Language, you know, what? dictation version of? Okay, yeah, that's what's going on here. Anyway, what? I spent a lot of time looking around the country. For a Miata RS that had the Brembo brakes. Ooh, look at the dirt. Levi the rinsing out there. And yeah. the Recaro seat. And there were not many. It was extremely hard to find. Yeah. And those that were out there were pretty expensive, except for uh, ones that had a lot of miles on them. So this was the compromise. I managed to find this one for extremely low 30s and uh, had all the packages I wanted. But uh, yeah, no, this was the sweet spot, and it only has 3,600 miles, so it's basically a new car. It's a 2022, but it's effectively like a new car. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that was, that was the mission. It's basically, I loved the Jag, and I knew I was going to miss it, but at the same time, I really gave it a lot of thought, and I'm like, insurance will be cheaper. My gas economy, my fuel economy literally doubles or triples, and... The way I use it regularly, I go for adventurous drives. A lot can be said about having a fast car, but when it comes down to it, having something that's lightweight, it's hard to replicate that experience with a modern car. This is like the only modern car that feels this light, this tossable, and that's that's what I missed was that old school so, analog lightweight feel. Yeah, so one thing I was gonna say is perfect for these uh, morning runs Yep. on the weekends, Dane. Mm -hmm. To go to Express Cafe. Oh, you oh, know it. Dane yes, can't wait. Can't, Dane can't wait. Can't wait to express on this uh, with this new rig <laughs> here. It's a perfect length of a drive this it time is. in a driver's car. It is. <laughs> I would like to see. Yeah, I'd like to see Dane when he is, you know, cracking open that <coughs> delicious breakfast sandwich, or maybe perhaps um, he's eating a full chicken fried steak. Full chicken fried steak in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. And he's just kind of eating it by his, with his hands. Mm -hmm. I told him that the steering wheel is so nice that he needs to put something over the top of it because like a but like the thick i was thinking like the thick memory foam just anything mm -hmm. that anything. way it can keeps his hands dry yeah but yeah. also cushions them dane's dane's yeah. had dane has had the experience of yeah. actually feeling several newer steering wheels though and so i think that he'll do a good job maintaining this yeah. yeah like he did with i mean there was the two trucks yeah then there was the jaguar yep. mm -hmm. then there was this yeah and then All there was the c-max you also had a newer one how many dane you've had quite a few new new vehicles haven't yeah. you I mean, new. New-ish. New-ish. New I mean, okay, so the F-350, the big lifted show truck, that was effectively new. Yeah. Um, and the Tacoma I had, the TRD off-road, that was effectively new. That was a lease. This one, basically new. It's a yeah. couple years old, but it doesn't really look or feel it. And yeah. the options don't change. 
Um, yeah, no, and the Jag F Type. That was a 2017, but it effectively felt new as well. So, yeah, it I did. Mean, that's mostly been it. But I've owned old cars too, and I like the, the yeah. feel of like, okay, old like the 60s, that Thunderbird. Yeah. That was fun, that was an experience, but that's not really a daily driver. David Boyce asking, Anthony, what's that tattoo on the back of your left calf? <laughs> Is that a flex polisher? Anthony has no <laughs> tattoos on his calves. I know, right? What's, uh, what's that about? I have one on the back of my left calf, but it's a, it's a sacred heart. Dane, I hope you don't mind if I uh, jump inside your uh, new whip here. No, you have permission. Go ahead. All right, let's go ahead uh, and move this first, beast. What a, what a perfect evening. Slide Sit right in. in. The hut in the garden oh, it is a little nephew, tight. Watching you but you know what? Fire pancakes, <laughs> life is good. Anthony about knocking Ready for this? out, getting in that car. Ooh. And that's why there's an aftermarket exhaust coming very soon. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> it sounds like nothing. All right, e brake okay. yeah. has a different placement, right? It's on the other side of the transmission tunnel, so it's on the passenger side, which is kind of weird. Is it? Ooh, oh, wow. wow, look at this. We I'm got grab four square towels. view. Look at all this, man. Yeah, yeah we'll get a look this at it pretty cool. around the studio. I've never look. seen all four squares populated at once like this. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Push down and left no, to this thing get is, through the reverse lockout. Dane, this thing <coughs> wants to be driven. I'm not going to lie. The, oh, it does. the thickness of this steering wheel is actually almost perfect. Yep. I um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So I'm not. I've never really been into Miatas, <laughs> Stop, but if I was going to get back. one, Anthony this would probably be bit. the one. Yeah. Because uh, you get the best of both worlds. You still well, get mostly an open top experience yeah. if you want it. Well, the Brembos, the Recaros, the BBS wheels, this is everything that a good tuner car should have. All right, so have. you guys are probably wondering what kind of towels we're using. <laughs> well, we thought it'd be only fitting if we took some 1500s yeah. and draped them on, the, on this little car. <laughs> it is hilarious <laughs> seeing me get out of this, though. I mean, I mean I, you're what, 6'2"? Six, six it's, it's perfect. Six one. Okay. Perfect Anthony size car. Yeah, because Joey over here feeling left out. I love cars I'll never fit in. Dude, the chat is having some pretty fun <laughs> conversations, and we appreciate you guys yeah. you know, really jumping in. So what does the chat have to say? Would you guys drive one of these bad boys? Would you, you, know, would you happily yeah. drive one? And if so, what color would you take one in? That's what there I want to know. I know a lot of people like that soul red, and the only reason Ooh. I didn't look more for like a soul red kind of thing was because... If I decide to wrap this at some point, maybe like a green, like I'd really like at some point, it would look kind of weird on a red yep. car and you'd see the door jams. It just wouldn't look right. So I wanted to pick a neutral color. I was Agreed. really looking for a black one, but this white one came along first as the best deal. So that was the way it worked out. Oh man, uh, this thing is squeaky clean. You notice that, Levi? It's literally squeaking. It's got piano black, or not piano black, it's got like a gloss black roof, which is interesting. There's still rocks in it. Yeah, <laughs> I think those will still be coming. Dane, you're gonna have to drive this thing extra hard lately. Yeah, just I guess careful so. when you're opening Later. that roof. Probably yeah. should have yeah. opened the roof yesterday. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, Dane, I'd highly recommend PPFing this black roof. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. I think that this is going to get absolutely annihilated um, from just anything. Like this is my nightmare because this car is white. But if the mm. bird was gonna poop on this car, or it would land. Cat. <laughs> it would land right there, on the black. Or a neighborhood cat climbs on the roof. Neighborhood cat, right? Maybe a uh, couple homeless people decide to, you know, take this thing out for a rip, right? Yeah. Dirty Mike and the boys. You never know what happens. Dance party on the roof. <laughs> oh, let's see. I got a lot of comments. I got old retro gamer. Great car. Would go with white. Spencer B here saying, I would happily drive one in a soul no, red color. It's a bug. Soul the traditional red. Traditional soft yeah. top, however. Yes, yeah, soul red in well, the Roadster is, is a very good look. Yeah. That you is really can't bird. Go wrong with these no, that's cars. a sticker. That's either a sticker or bird poop. That's a paint marker. Yeah, paint there. marker. Oh, paint marker. Uh, okay. Classic dealership move. Uh, David Boyce, Sticky. I couldn't fit in it. Give that off with the razor blade. Yeah. For, for reference, for those who are wondering, I am. 5'8", and about 292 There's pounds. There's rocks in this grill. So I'm not a small person. By this any is going to be motivating Dane's weight loss journey, am I <laughs> yes. right? 
The more I lose weight, the more fun it gets. Because when you're in a car that only weighs 2,400 pounds, every pound counts that you lose. Yeah. You really notice it. So, yeah, it just makes it more fun. Uh, let's see. I got old retro gamer. I prefer the <coughs> NC because it is slightly larger. Yes, you definitely would have an easier time fitting in an NC, which is a prior generation to this. Uh, British race and green is a perfect color for that, Anton. I agree. I love that. Although I like a metallic flake in a dark green. That would that would be really nice. Tamara Chase, silver. Color doesn't make the car. And Tamara said she likes coupes, so she likes this. Thank you, Tamara. Yeah. I love white on white adjacent cars. They just feel so clean, says Joey. Yes, I would take the orange one that's been chilling at the Puyallup Mazda dealer. Oh, okay, Anna. Very nice. That's an anniversary edition if it's orange, by the way. That's a 30th anniversary edition. It was a one-year-only model. Uh, Super Auto, the Ultra Wool Wheel Mint is, but the USS is not on the business account site. Oh, okay. Interesting. We'll have to point oh. that out. Levi, you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Okay. We'll pass word along to the fine folks back in the office. Is that a marmot on the roof? You know what, though, Anthony? For all the fear I have about that black roof potentially getting hit with stuff, knowing me, I'm going to have that down as much as humanly possible. The only time it's really going up is when I'm parked in the garage. Yeah, Dane, it's just, you know, well, or if you're parked here at work, or because if I'm otherwise. In the parking lot, yeah. You're going you're gonna to fade that interior really fast. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to happen for any extended periods of time. The door, the roof will be shut. So. Yeah. I'm not worried about that, but as far as me taking it places, <coughs> I'm going to have it down every chance I get. Yeah, so I'm just doing a little quick detailer on here is just as a, just to just to glossify this out, get this looking good, nice and show worthy. What people don't know is that the G-Technic quick detailer is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, it's really good. It doesn't smell like anything, so most people probably don't like gravitate towards it, mm. but as far as doing what a quick detailer needs to do, with being able to safely clean small areas, but also be able to add some gloss and slickness. It does exactly that. Levi, I want to use a little C2V3 on the wheels. Oh, there please do. Wipe up the okay. wheels, dry them nice. off, and I'm gonna get a little protection. Hey, please do, yeah. have at it. Those aren't getting PPF, so that's fine. Just using some ultra ripping rags here, just to apply my quick detailer, and <laughs> this thing is looking, this thing's looking pretty glassed out, Dane. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Mark says, it's going to look really good when it's debadged. I'd drive one. I never loved the Miata, and I have to admit, this is the first time I've seen it in this gen model. Okay. Well, then hopefully that, uh, that does something for you. Frost. <laughs> Frost says, unfortunately, my Detroit heart needs muscle, but I appreciate a good-looking vehicle. Thanks, Frost. No, no biggie. I mean, I've driven cars that had well in excess of 500, even 600 horsepower. And that's fun, but the problem is it doesn't take much to get you way outside the legal limits. And that's one of the reasons I was drawn to getting back into Miata again is I can have all the fun in the world, feel like you're driving way too fast, and then you look down to realize you're only going 40. So people can call it slow all day long, but at the end of the day, you're having just as much fun if you can appreciate the kind of lightweight, tossable fun that a car like this would offer. Yeah. All right, we've got do, 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 get out the paint thickness gauge and gasp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's true. <laughs> oh, good. Super Auto says he found it. So I guess it was on a different page. Uh, and then we got Air First here saying, please say hello to my amazing nephew, Zach. He's nine and car crazy and loves you guys. Hello, Zach. Hello, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Hello. Thanks for chiming in, bud. <laughs> Checking out the stream. We're having fun here today. For sure, for sure. And then, of course, let's get those dealer stickers off. Sheesh. I agree. Let's get those out of there. And, um, yeah, follow up. This is Mark Stone. On last comment, it's a nice car, and I think they did a great job this go around. Yeah, thanks, buddy. And is this a manual? Of course. I would not buy a Miata without a manual. That's just, that's. I understand there are folks who can't drive manual, and that's okay. And in which case, fine, go ahead and get your auto. But for me, I, I'm not touching it without the manual. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get this, because I had already had, you know, the Jags and autos and stuff, and I couldn't get a manual in those cars. I would really love it if I could have, but I, I couldn't. Um, we got Chris. 
Chris Marshall saying, have any of you guys driven an S or RS Audi? I believe you have, uh, both of you guys have, because yeah. haven't you driven Z's uh, S5? Uh, he had Anthony? an S5, yeah, I drove his S5. Yeah. Uninspiring. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just not. I think that mo that particular S5 just wasn't my thing. I think. I think for me, like an RS3 would be probably a, that a good time. That five sounds so. I think an RS3 knows. would be a good time. Um, I'm not really into the S4s at all. Um, RS6 Avon, I'll take that. That would yeah. be pretty sweet. No, I think there's a time and a place for them, but right now personally i just wanted to get into a lightweight car i've driven heavy cars for a while and i just i miss the feeling of having a lightweight car and as technology keeps you know progressing and cars get batteries and stuff they just keep getting heavier and heavier so this is an experience that's getting harder and harder to find yeah uh let's see i've got mark here the cleaner that car gets the more it grows on me she's got a nice rear end also i'm a sponge type of person over the mitts so that's the oh what's the difference between the ubs and the uss so uh, we, totally different yeah. sponge mm -hmm. and it's softer uh, than the ubs so those are the biggest takeaways softer and a different color Meaning and I would say the affordability is there now as well. The what? The affordability has gone up as that well. That too, the price price uh, difference. But and you're I've still going to get the same level of durability that you've gotten in previous years with the UBS. Yeah. So. Jeff C. Dink goes through more cars than I go through shoes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> guilty as charged. Alex, halftime show will coat the Miata. Oh, boy. Gonna do a little little arts and crafts on the Miata, I see. Um, next up, do do do. Super Auto POV with Anthony on Detail Hub. The Thanks, full of dirt. Super Auto. That's nice. <laughs> the jam full of dirt. No, even better. Jimmy, come take a look at this. <laughs> what do we got? What? It's what? just soap. It's just suds. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just hanging out in there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. So of maybe foam. maybe you don't you're not supposed to foam an Indy Miata. Well, maybe that seal needs a little work then. That's hmm. a ton of. Well, uh, actually, I mean the seal's doing its job. None of it got in the trunk. So yeah, but it's yeah. It is doing its job. That is um. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. That kind of just needs to be re rinsed or blown out. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow it out. You sure. get all over the place. I know. What else would you want me to do? And uh, Anton saying the ultra safe sponge not available for us here yet. Uh, you're located in the Philippines, I believe, Anton. So as far as availability over not there, yet, not yes. yet. But uh, can we expect that sometime in the next few months? Uh, I don't have a timeline, Dane, but that's that's easy to say that. Okay, so next few months. That's the safe bet. Um, ba -ba -boom. But the reason we did develop it for being a, a cheaper price was so that. Um, it allows you guys everywhere overseas to be able to purchase it because Levi prices started to increase and it doesn't help when people can't afford something. Levi, yeah, I think you didn't scrub these tires enough, unfortunately. I scrubbed them quite a mm. bit. Yeah, they're brown. Yeah, because I washed off the dealer. Oh, the dealer implied uh, shine. Tire shine. Yeah. Now there is actually a product right now that we're going to be having on our way soon that's going to be pretty good at removing the browning off tires pretty fast. Ooh. Yeah. We've been testing it this week. We've been doing some pretty testing awesome. this week. It's pretty good stuff. Noted. Uh, Air first saying brilliant. Thanks so much. He's delighted. You're real good lads. I mean it. You're so genuine <coughs> and approachable. Thank you, Air. We really appreciate. Thank you. That. We appreciate that a lot. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Next up. The Merc A45 is a beast. I believe we get the GLA45 here, or the CLA45. I'm not sure the A45 is actually still sold here. I know that the A-Class was kind of briefly here, but I have to see. Those are Mercedes-Benz, for those who don't know. Uh, okay, thank you to John here. That new suede coating kit is a really good value. Thanks, TRC, for putting out high-quality products that are affordable. You bet, man. Dane, this car is growing on me more and more. Like, yeah? 
I the white was the <laughs> was the move, dude, because it's neutral. It's, it leaves it up to doing whatever I want with it. So. It's neutral. I think this is going to take the best to modding, and I think as long as you don't paint the lower half of it black like you did your previous Miata. <laughs> yeah, don't. I think do not do why that. why on earth would I do that? Well, with Dane, we don't know why'd you do it last Dane, time. It's like it's the same question of why you painted your calipers with tractor paint that one time. <laughs> That wasn't so, tractor paint on the Jag. That was on the Z3 project card that I got for so fifteen hundred bucks. I was at for lunch. <laughs> I stopped by DMB Supply. Oh man, they got tractor paint on sale over there. Or what? They do, and I almost bought a can as a uh, car warming <laughs> present for you. <laughs> you're like, was, here, you're gonna was, need this. It was John Deere green, mm. so I thought that would be a perfect <laughs> color for these tire or these uh, brake calipers. Sure, why not? <laughs> you to get a little little John Deere green action oh, on those because I, I know like you like that British racing green and that's pretty course. much what John Deere green is absolutely yeah. so <laughs> but oh, I did it well that's nice Alex here saying shout out to the behind the scenes TRC media team keeping the show running in prep for TRC the real goats can I uh, request a razor blade Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find one for you. It doesn't work like that. And the editing on the live stuff, yeah, it's live. We can't clap things in. That kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, I want to get you're this waiting, off. I got Sandro here, Anthony. Sandro wants to know, when will the new Rupes 15 millimeter be back in stock again? Well, Sandro, <laughs> if you wouldn't have slept on it, you would have had one in your hand by now, right? Oh, I'm sorry, man. So um, the 21s, we do have some stock up, but the 15s went very quickly. We are waiting on the next shipment now. Um, it just I can't stress enough that there is such a small allotment that each dealer is getting right now across the country just because the, this first shipment from Italy was small. Um, it's such a small, it was such a small shipment everywhere that what we got is what we got. So we have another order in, but I can't give you a date on when it's gonna be back in stock. Not not really, uh, but hopefully very soon. So, so I understand not a lot of companies would say this, but realistically, if you're in a hurry, you need it now. I, I understand if you were to shop somewhere else, we won't hold that against it. It's okay, it happens. But if you wanna wait for us to carry it and go through TRC, we would really appreciate that. So however you choose to do yeah. it is great. Cool. I think it's just, yeah, it, this is gonna be one but of those situations. But they're limited, like everywhere you go, there's hardly It's gonna be one of those situations where, yeah, the pre-orders might be sold out in certain places, maybe some other places might be out of stock. Um, it's gonna be a hot commodity. And um, I think that people thought when we launched them, there's just gonna be like this never ending supply and that just wasn't the case. Uh, for what it's worth, <coughs> I want one of those machines as well. I would love mm -hmm. to buy a 15, I think it'd be great. Um, but even as employees here, we were not, um, don't throw it to me, Gabe, you stress me out. Even as employees <laughs> here, we were not, uh, we uh, technically only one of the employees here at the rag company was able to buy one, the rest we had to save for the customers. So that's how little that we were able to get in. Um, so Josh Brodel, uh, resident, uh, satisfying Saturday detailer was able to score one. Extraordinary. And so uh, we got that, he got one, but we also have ours here in the studio. So obviously we yeah. have ours we're gonna be using for media stuff, but um, killer machine, man. This thing is just absolutely, it's just a beast. And we have a video going out at 2 p.m. at the Ride Company main channel. That it is came out. That, it's oh, live. it's already out, perfect. Then <laughs> if that's come out and you could check that out. That's gonna give you the unboxing, kind of go overview everything that you're getting in it. Uh, and then here in the next video, we're gonna be putting it to use and giving you guys kind of the pros and cons and my overall thoughts. But it's just an awesome machine. I think it feels great in the hand. And I think the amount of pads that you get inside this package make it totally worthwhile. Um, a lot of people are comparing it to the price of like the Milwaukee setup. Uh, first and foremost, this is lighter than Milwaukee. It's better than the Milwaukee. No. I don't even know why the Milwaukee exists. Oh, it's um, not even a. It's not even. This has a better grip than the Milwaukee, 100, 100 and this has <laughs> carbon fiber all over it. It's just a, it's overall just a better machine. And I'm saying that so Gabe can hear me. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it's. The amount of other stuff you're getting, including the cost of the pads, it's like, yes, it may be kind of like, oh, wow, 700 bucks. Like that's, that seems like quite a bit, but you're getting a killer machine, two batteries, you're getting a charging base, and you're getting enough pads to get you going along with the DA fine and DA coarse polishes. So um, I think it's a good deal. 
I think it's a good deal for the next generation of tools that is going to, I mean, this is going to pay for itself in the first detail that you do, in the first paint correction that you do. So just keep that in mind. You're not just investing uh, in a tool, but you're investing in yourself and your business uh, and however you look at that. So um, anyways, that's my spiel. All right. Spencer here. Saw the Instagram post of the, post of the cordless roof as ordered mine 30 seconds after I saw the post. Can't wait to start using it on these tractors. Hopefully they come with a cordless rotary. That That's would be pretty idea. cool. I agree. Yeah. Levi, how's that? How's those tires looking? Good. What are you using? Uh, a little bit T2. T2. Nice. Yeah. Like I think that this thing is looking... <clears throat> That's looking it, sharp on Any camera. razor blades? No? So, no. Uh. It's a plastic one. You scared him so bad. <laughs> Why well, would I throw a real razor blade um, at him? Here, catch! Yeah, <laughs> no, that's Not a, like that. That's okay. that's okay. I'm going to grab myself a little bit of quick, quick detailer here to <laughs> clean that up. Yeah. So another thing you can do is you can use a quick detailer as a lube with a plastic razor, if anybody's ever not done that. <clears> you can <throat> also use uh, a sprayable wax. Like Optimum Car Wax is great for um, when you're using a plastic razor, um, even on paintwork, glass, things like that. It's going to provide ample lubrication. So, got my razor here, got my quick detailer on the surface. I'll kind of just pick some of that up here and then just kind of plug there away. There you go. And get that uh, off Anthony, there. I do have one request while you guys mm -hmm. are working on that. If there's one thing involving the windshield, um, if you could help me out with it. The inside on the passenger side has some paperwork taped up against the window, and I was starting to take it off before the show, but I decided to leave it because it started to tear off a little bit. So it may yeah. require a little bit of razor action to uh, clean it up. So you want me to clean the inside of your car too, Dane? So Just that, that one specific so certain to feel, spot. Certain to feel like I should start getting paid uh, Just, from you. Uh, for this service here, Dane, don't you think? In a circuitous sort of way you are, because uh, my family owns the company, so you're welcome. <laughs> oh, he said it. It's true. There it is. It's true. There you it dropped is. that bomb on oh, me. It it. It's Something all right. I never go out of my way to say, but <laughs> it didn't it like is, that. It is true. Thank you, Jeff and Carolyn. You guys are my favorite. I love my job. Thank you. Um, Thank you anyways, very much. <laughs> this is cleaned up, and that looks quite nice. Gosh, this thing is this is a sweet little ride, Dane. I'm loving it, man. You're, are you gonna be? Are you? When's your When's your first oil change? When are you gonna do that? I probably won't have to worry about it for a while because it happened like less than 500 miles ago. So that's the difference between me and you, Dane. I would not. Tr I don't trust anybody other than myself to change the oil on this car. <laughs> yeah, like what's the worst but, that could happen, Anthony? <laughs> the worst that could happen is that they, they pr well, actually, boy, the worst that's happened is that they either probably put the wrong oil in, right? That's one bad thing that could possibly <clears> happen. <throat> they could have already over tightened the drain plug, right? They could have already stripped something out. Who knows? I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but dealers and oil change places and stuff like that just blow my mind. Dean, remember when you took your Ford Flex to an oil change place? What happened? Oh boy, everything was fine with the oil change, but no, when they decided to do the coolant flush, that's when the real problem happened. Yeah, what happened? They put the coolant in the wrong They put it hole. in the oil. They basically sent it in through uh, an air intake, and it almost wound up in my turbos. Thank goodness the car wasn't on, so yeah. that's super fun. Your car had to get taken apart. Thank Literally you, disassembled the gamer. turbos and everything. Appreciate that By comment. a mechanic in, in that's how my life. That's how it is here every day. <laughs> Everyone else is messing around, and I'm just here to work. Yeah. <laughs> and then so. Aaron says, pull the Nepo baby card anytime you get. Dude, I never do that, but I had to do it at least once. Thank you. Dane's pretty, <laughs> Dane's pretty good about it. He, uh, he, he avoids it at all, at all oh, costs. But, uh, I'm extra avoidant of the He's, he's extra aware of that. For what it's worth, I, I got to give him credit. He doesn't drop that too often. And when he does, <laughs> he usually does it with love. Because we, we give him, we razz him with love. Yes. So, Honestly, I use it to your guys' advantage usually. Because I'll yeah. say the things you guys may feel like you don't want to say. And I'll just say it. So That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I got to clean the inside of this window. So for that, I'm going to be using an ultra ripping rag. That's a good idea. With some glass cleaner. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if you guys are sleeping on these ultra ripping rags, oh, you're, you missing, are, out. Uh, you're missing out. Yeah, what if are you haven't you? gotten some yet, you really should. What are you uh, doing with I'm your life? I'm already looking at one in my next box. Yeah, no, this is a game, game changer. Hmm. 
What hey, I love Levi. is I can use them for stuff, and then I can choose. How's that bolster it, feel? Or I can toss it. <laughs> Levi, are you sitting right on the bolster? No, I'm sitting right here on this. Oh, oh it's not okay. That big. You see how wide? I was gonna Look say it. you a seemed. Whole <laughs> four cart seat here. I'm just looking at look it at going, that. holy cow, that is a pretty good sill. You're right. Like that's actually that, fine. Yeah. Nothing There's wrong with that. Bolster. As so much as I love right these seats it. and I like the look of them, I am scared to like protect them. So I might get a really, really, really nice quality cover now, for the lower section. I want to actually sit on it. I can. Dean, I'm scared for you for these seats. These are the nicest seats of any th car you've had, right? Which, I mean, that's that's way up there for sure. Yeah, I am I am a I don't even I can't say what hey, I want to say. What if you hop in there, pop that top? Uh, I will pop the top here in just a minute. Let me clean this other glass here, but I will say <clears> that I am like Recaro seats do something to me. I know that's <laughs> weird to say. I thought you were a Corbo man. I have Corbo seats. I think they're fantastic seats, but I think this started at SEMA 2018 when you had when a few we had beers in a Recaro when, seat. Yeah, when we had Recaro across the way from us at our booth and they had all the seats there and we were like, went over and sat in them every single day, feeling the quality. And then like Lars was using Recaro as like the example of like, hey, on this quality of seat, you know, the repair, like I was like, man, I just, yeah, I'm just a sucker for Recaro. Everything from the JDM cars they were in to even, I don't know, all the racing stuff. It's just, it's just cool. So they clean the inside of this glass here. Then we're going to drop this top and reveal Ooh. how much foam has gotten into the seals. Oh dear. <laughs> I can't wait to find out. What if we I mean, this the is hood? very educational, what not only for the viewers. What if we pop the hood and the engine bay is full of foam? But also for me. Actually, yeah. Why don't you pop the hood? Let's see in <laughs> and there. It's a foam party. I think we should. Let me go hop in that. Let me go hop in that seat there. <laughs> he just go, wants uh, to sit in that seat again. I mm -hmm. just want to sit in the seat. I love this seat. Serious. This might be this might be one of my next cars, but maybe I'll get it in. Uh, well, too bad they don't the have it in Milano window. red, right? Why didn't you mm. Clean the front red window. I didn't clean <coughs> that one because you am saving something I'm, for Dane. I'm taking. I'm saving something for They're Dane. They're gonna leave me something. I well, know. Well, we all know Dane's favorite method is cleaning windows. Okay. And, uh, here we go. A fresh shipment of in, uh, invisible <laughs> glass. Okay. Let me see if this will come down. Okay. The car has to be on. Dane, quick question. How do you yes. just go into accessory mode? Uh, basically push the button, I think, twice without touching the clutch. Okay. Oh, you're right. Okay. Dane, watch the reviews. Oh. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> and just like that, you're free. Sweet, dude. That's all there is to it. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So then I double tapped that again. Here we go. And then you got to pop the hood there on your left. Oh, pop the hood. Your left leg there. Here we go. What the heck kind of button? Oh, it's just a button. Yeah. Now pop the trunk. What? Oops. That's you the pop trunk. The trunk. <laughs> oh. Underneath, you got to go. go. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's so dirty under here. Oh, it is, huh? Well, it's only 325. I mean, we got a little time. Uh, no, Dane. That's for you. <laughs> That's for worth you. A try. <laughs> Give me time. I just left that for you, Dane. Left a little love note. Oh, thank you. It's funny. The viewership went up because they all thought you were going to work in the engine bay next. No, we probably, if we were going to do that at any point in this video, Dane, it should have been first. Should have been first, honestly. <laughs> but um, Nick wanted to know, are you going to be eating in this thing? No. Will it carry food? Yes. Will I eat in it? No. And that is a rare rare exception to the rule for me because i'm usually like eating anything don't be oh, precious don't about it. it just but those ricaro seats honestly had me going nah nah i shouldn't <laughs> yeah give them time well, you do have your little workbench that anthony and i gave you for your birthday that's so true. you can install into your steering wheel yeah let's see it's it's the crumbs for me i gotta look out for well, that that's what I'm the not... that's why it's got a tray well yeah. what you don't want dane is you don't want to be eating any chocolate bars and have mm. it fall into alcantara oh. and just Absolutely melt its, not. Melt its yeah. way in there. Now, you Especially guys if you're talk, driving up to the cabin or something. <clears throat> Bear in mind, I have had cars with way more Alcantara than this. I mean, my SVX, 75% of that interior was Alcantara. How often I'm not even joking. It? It's SVX, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Say what you will. I love that car, but it was covered every what? surface with 
Alcantara. It was what crazy. I want to know is, is Recaro still using, are they still using? And my XKR using... had an Alcantara ceiling as well. Yeah. What I want to know is, is Recaro still using uh, actually <coughs> actual brand, Al brand, name brand Alcantara? Alcantara? I'm because not sure. Because there's the other uh, micro suede manufacturer, so it's the D. Mm -hmm. um, anybody know? Somebody, chat, do you guys know what that don't is? I don't know the name of that one. Okay, maybe the chat knows, um, but yeah, it, it starts with a D, I well, believe. you know what it needs? Dy Dynamica, Dynamica? Something, but you know mm -hmm. what it needs? A little TRC Buttersoft suede is what Ooh, it needs. Get some seats yeah. done up in that, Dane. That's <laughs> what you need to do. Talk to your All dad, right. get yeah. a bolt of that. We take these uh, Recaros in, get them restitched. <laughs> yeah, Daddy oh, likey, man. you know <laughs> what I mean? TRC Ultra Suede. Yeah. Camera Chase, you know. I think the way convertible roofs look, work is cool. At least you don't have to worry about the cloth roof falling apart over the years. That is something that's nice to go. not have to worry about because I had to replace the top of my original NA Miata oh. 92. <laughs> I don't recommend that experience to anybody. If you can get one that's already on the frame and put it in there, that's easy. Yeah. But that's not what I had. I had to put the cloth over the skeleton of the metal frame, yeah. and it was bad news bears. Then Alex wants to eat in the Miata first. Well, he will be. Don't worry. That's a, As a Grand Ambassador of the Year, he has reserved that right. <sighs> yes. He, he, of all people, might be able to get he away is. with it. We'll, yeah. we'll talk. But Joey Ooh, here, what color Joey underglow are you going to get? Sorry. Not, Come not on. happening. That's a great one. That's a great <laughs> mod, Dane. <laughs> it's a requirement that you sing Zoom Zoom song while driving. I agree. I like that. Dane, just get yourself one of those silicone bibs with a trough at the bottom, says Super. Mm. I mean, that could go That's with nice. your table. Yeah. I would yeah, definitely a, look a like pocket. a total pig. It's a pocket that would at the not bottom. be good. Yeah. I'm busy losing weight over here. That's been the mission. So this car, my car lost weight. I gotta lose weight. We're we're working on it. It's, okay. it's a whole process, we're a whole adventure. You, anyway, you guys tell us what do we gotta do to wrap this thing up? That's uh, pretty well, much it. The car's that's, done. That's it. Car looks great, Dane. We wanna see uh Okay, how about this? Actually, I got, a, I got an easy way to end this. Hmm. We didn't plan this. Can we oh, get no. you to come out here, Dane, and look at it? You don't have to use your, your mic. I will give the outro, but I would love to have you come look at it and get your reaction on oh, camera. Okay, because all I've seen is what's on camera. I'll be able to determine if it's actually yeah. as good as it looks here. Is right? that okay? Is that okay, like tech, that. tech team? Tech team, is that okay? I'm going on them. Oh, so he said Nick no. We got no. no. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that was a cute idea, though. Um, it was so very no, that, cute. That's, I appreciate you trying. That's pretty much it. The, uh, chat, thank you so much. Dane, I think you just take us home. Well, I Dane, remind the folks that. at home, there's less than nine days, working days, before TRCMA. Yeah. Yes. Please cover that. <clears throat> so, if Nick would be so kind, yes, to bring up the website, T-R-C-M-A. What is that, Dane? It's the Rag Company Media Access Program. That is a week-long show where we have, well, effectively our own little baby trade show. Except it's not a little baby. It's a big baby. There's actually a lot going on. We have several companies presenting. Many you will recognize. As you can see, broken out by day, we have a calendar here on theragcompany.com over on the TRCMA tab, which you will find on the right-hand side of the main menu. And you can see each day on the calendar there actually lets you slip through all the different manufacturers that will be presenting, their time, and all that. So it's all there. You can set reminders. And... Uh, don't miss it. So that'll all be happening on the Rag Company YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, very simple. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to both the Rag Company YouTube channel as well as the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel, which you're on right now. And uh, that way you won't miss anything when it comes out, which that's what clicking the little bell notification icon is for. And, uh, yeah, that really sums it up. So thank you so much to everybody who tuned in to watch my new to me car get washed up. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm excited to go see how the G Tech products did. But barring that, I just hope you guys have a great, great week and we'll catch up during, well, I would say QA Thursday because that happens on Thursday. So you can look forward to that very soon. So we'll catch you there and uh, have a good one. We'll see you.